what surprises me most about the poem is the sound. And surprised at how alive everything sounds in a cemetery. There's incredibly uh, complex and different noises happening throughout the entire poem, not to mention in London, I'm not sure, certain if this is the uh, same in the rest of Europe, people use the cemeteries as parks. So in the ambiance, you hear little kids running, you hear people walking, and I found that it's different than in Los Angeles when I filmed a similar poem um, at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. In the United States, it seems like not many people use the cemeteries as parks as much as they do in London. I mean, people climb on the tombstones, they're playing on them, jumping, sliding. The poem consists of four streaming films uh, that are systematically arranged in each box, and each individual box has a poem playing on its own, um, not to mention the overall composition. So the first two boxes we have uh, are mostly verbs, die. And the second two are exclamations and or nouns. And throughout the entire video poem, we have uh, compositions, uh, elements that I recorded that uh, you'd find in this particular cemetery, lots of greenery, um, but also lots of spiderwebs, lots of uh, insects. I've always been interested in death. Death scares me. Death is something that I seem to always come back to and seems to be an overriding theme in my uh, entire body of work. I'm fascinated and at the same time scared of death. The most recent example I can give um, as we're recording this, this is uh, July 2011, is the death of Amy Winehouse, which was very unsettling. Uh, and I recorded this, uh, I actually built this a uh, week before uh, this uh, event occurred in, in London. And I feel like in some ways I'm trying to figure out um, if there's some something that comes after death, if there's some, something that can be built, a Frankenstein, if you will, from parts that don't move. And I think that's part of what I'm exploring in this poem.